And this is the town of Talkeetna. I'm gonna take you around and show you a little bit. It's pretty small, but there's something here for everybody. Pretty neat to see. Talkeetna is a small town. However, there's lots to do on your visit. It is the base for expeditions to Denali, also known as Mount McKinley. Tourists travel to Talkeetna each summer to fish salmon, to raft, mountain biking, hiking, camping, fishing, hunting, and to go flight scene. Products from local artists, musicians, and craftspeople are available in area stores also. Telkikna began in 1916 when the area was chosen as a district headquarters for the Alaska Railroad. A post office opened as well as a sawmill, trading post, cigar and donkey store, and other businesses. In 1917, the residents encouraged the government to survey the lots on which their home stood. In 1919, the railroad surveyed and auctioned off 80 lots. The core downtown area that you're seeing is the Talkeetna Historic District, is on the register of National Historic Places with buildings dating from the early 1900s, including Nagy's General Store, Fairview Inn, and the Talkeetna Roadhouse. As you watch the video, you can see there's a lot of shopping that can be done here and also some good eating too. And if you're looking to do a float, some river rafting right here on the Talkeetna River, this is the place to do it, just on the edge of town. <laughs> we took the jet boat ride to do a nature walk and see an authentic trapper's camp, complete with cash and furs. Trapping has been economically and culturally important to Alaska people since time began. This seasonal harvest of wildlife provides meat and warm fur needed to sustain life in the north. Thick fur parkas, mitts, hats, and leggings protect against bitterly cold temperatures, enabling Alaskans to survive in the harsh Arctic environment. Trapping has always been good at the heart of trade in Alaska. Interregional fur trade between the state's earliest inhabitants provided food and clothing not available to the native people within their own communities. Soon after the Russian explorers arrived in Alaska in the mid 1700s, brisk commerce developed between Alaska natives and Russian fur traders. This lucrative industry attracted explorers and merchants from other countries such as Spain, France, and America. The British Hudson Bay Company established a trading post in interior Alaska in 1847 and Alaska natives soon began exchanging furs and manufactured goods of the West, such as iron tools, clothing, and beads. Trapping continues to be a very important part of the Alaska economy to this day. It's particularly important in the rural communities because it brought, provides cash income during the winter when few jobs exist in the most isolated villages. In the larger towns and villages, trapping income provides a supplement to salaries and a healthy, pleasant outdoor pastime during the colder months. I hope you enjoyed watching these things to do in Talkeetna and hopefully you'll visit there. Thank you so much for watching Pat's Adventures and please subscribe to the channel and make comments. Also, if you're interested, please look up the video on Pat's Adventures of the Talkeetna Lodge that I have posted. Thanks again. Take care.